Okay, here are five tools that you should get really comfortable with using working in product management that you probably didn't expect, or at least I didn't expect it when I first got into product. Number one is a data dog. Datadog is a analytics, monitoring, and observability tool that helps you understand the performance of your various products, services, and applications. And here is how I use Datadog as a product person. Number two is GitHub. GitHub is a code repository collaboration tool. Engineering teams will use GitHub to collaborate on the code that they are writing, get feedback from each other, and use it for versioning. Now, I don't use GitHub all that much, but this is how I use it as a product person. Okay, number three is Postman. Like, Postman is a tool that allows you to uh, build, uh, test, modify, and use APIs um, in a UI. Postman is used by engineers as well as non-engineers, and this is how I sometimes use Postman as a product person. Next are a couple of Amazon services. So one is AWS Data Lake. It is just a, I guess, fancy way of saying some kind of database to store structured and unstructured data in one centralized place. And then AWS Athena, which is a way of querying the data that sits in Data Lake. At least that's how it works in the implementation that I have experience with. So here is how I use these Amazon services as a product person, mostly for getting product metrics and product analytics to understand how my various products are being used. And last but not least is Google Data Studio, which is a dashboarding and visualization sort of analytics tool. I absolutely expected to use some kind of dashboarding tool to understand product metrics, but I just didn't expect it to be Google Data Studio. But now that I know how to use it, it's extremely powerful and it works very, very well if you have Google Cloud Storage Services. Um, yeah, so hope that helps.